Hey guys, Stay Calm Cursory here. All right, so for this video, I'm trying something a little bit new. I am actually recording during the day, which may or may not turn out well, uh, considering that I live relatively close to an airbase and there are jets going by every five to 10 minutes. What a shame. So if you do hear anything in the background, sorry about that. I do have uh, a little hope that maybe uh, due to my mic filters, maybe it'll cut it out. But if it doesn't, uh, then I probably won't record during the day anymore. But hey, we're going to go ahead and give this a try. Okay, so what we have here today is Johnny is Missing, and the description listed it as a surreal horror game about the inner workings of the mind. Gosh, that is showing up as very dark on uh, my OBS recording. Hopefully, uh, you know what? I may have to brighten it up and post. It's fine. Kill him. All right. Simple enough. Ha. Ha ha ha. Time is running up. Ha ha ha. Did they mean running out? Oh, it certainly is running, I guess. Well, it did say it was surreal. I should have expected that. Getting some real Ebe vibes from this game. Johnny, 30442020x5. I have a feeling I'll have to remember that. Well, it did say Johnny's missing, so I guess he's dead then. Okay, time to go. We went right. Let's try left. Well, it doesn't seem that I can interact with it. Hmm. And I'm barred from going that way. Alright, just one direction left to go then. Trapped? Try the fourth dimension. <laughs> oh, perfect. Alright, let's go there. Get out. Okay, probably not supposed to go through there. Where am I going? Anything with you? No? Okay, so I have two keys and I don't know where they lead to. Oh! Okay, I guess there was a door there. <laughs> ha ha ha, Johnny is dead. Well, I mean, yeah, I found his toe tag, so, you know. Oh, it's a tape. Transdimensionalizer. I can't really do much with it now. Fear not, I will get rid of the big bad man. Great! <laughs> That's fine. Oh. Well, the TV is dead. Oh boy! Oh! Okay, I uh... I must, that must be a bad ending then. Trap, try the fourth dimension. Okay, uh, I wonder what I could have done differently. I did get an item off of the TV though. I'm not sure what else I could have done. Three, zero, four, four, two, zero, X, five. Anything? I'm not stuck already, or maybe that was the end of the game. Huh. Tape. 
So are we Johnny? Were we looking for Johnny? Transdimensionalizer. So it said if you're trapped, try the fourth dimension. So I'm guessing maybe we have to use this to avoid being killed? I can't interact with it at all. Ah, uh, that TV is just going to get ganked, so I don't know if I should even bother with him. Still locked. Try the fourth dimension. Maybe I should go back this way. Oh, okay, well that simplifies things. Nothing new here. Well, at least these guys settled down. All right, it seems like I can't do anything but give the tape to the guy. Maybe I just shouldn't go straight down to the butcher's room, though. All right. Yeah, he was killed, okay. Can I use you? Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what else there is to do. Maybe if I try from the other side? I can't even pick it up, actually. All right. Oh, maybe if I try the door first. No? I think I bugged the game, actually. <laughs> it's not letting me into it. Oh, wrong button, duh. Idiot, okay, okay. Let's see. Trapped. Try the fourth dimension. I'm going left. Hope that's the right choice. Oh! Okay. Great. So that wasn't the end of the game. I'm glad I didn't just give up there. Alright. Gather four cards to summon him. Don't wander after dark. Good life advice. What is that, a Game Boy Advance? Well, it does look to be after dark. Oh, fence. Ooh, gravestones. Doesn't look like there's anything I can say. This one's different. No, it's not. Hello. Hi, Dad. Hey. <laughs> what did I just do? I wonder if Johnny was this person's son and they were kidnapped by like a serial killer or something. Although then again, it does say it's a surreal game, so half the time you never get any answers. It's getting pretty dark. Was it always this dark? I, uh, should probably go back to the house. Uh-oh. Not sure if that was a death or not. Did it undo everything I did? Alright, this time we're going straight to the playground. Okay, it was a playing card. That's what we got. Oh, it said uh, gather all four cards, right? All right. Pretty sure it's getting dark again. Let's get back inside. Okay, so there's one card, and we need four. Hmm. Wait a minute. It's still getting dark, and I can't leave. So maybe, well, we are inside. We're not wandering out after dark. Good. Okay, so it's like a day and night cycle and you just have to be indoors. Okay, that was about a minute and a half, I think. So I, I'll give it about a minute and a half and then I'll run home if I don't find anything. I'd hate to lose all my progress. Hey, circus tents? But it won't let me go in them. Uh, 
Ah. Uh, oh, jeez. Why did that scare me? I'm afraid to follow him. I might be caught out after dark. He probably went into one of the tents. Okay. Nice try. Alright, time to go home. It's gonna be getting dark. Alright, this is a cemetery, so that means the house is up here. Alright. Okay, so that's two out of four. We went to the bottom right and the top left. Halfway there. I guess we'll try going uh, upper right then, after it becomes daytime. <laughs> if you could call it that. All right. Upper right, upper right. Hey, it's a river. Or a lake. Looking more like a lake. So what do I do with you? Right, there's the boundary, so... Ah, there's a dock and a house. Nothing. Okay, well that was pretty easy. Let's uh let's skedaddle. Only one more left after this. Oh, it's a circus again. Uh oh. Alright. I'm worried I'm too far to the left. Uh oh, uh oh. Yep, too far to the left. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Oh, I don't want to lose all my progress. Here we go, here we go. Got it, got it, okay. All right, so we did upper left and upper right, and then bottom right was a playground. All right, that just leaves the cemetery. There's gotta be something there. There's gotta be something here. Okay, I just didn't look far enough. Wonder what that ringing is. find out. Oh. I love this, uh, this little sprite's walk cycle. You can see that it's a coat or a trench coat or something that just kind of flutters. I like that. It's simple, but it's got personality. I don't know. Okay, straight it is. Uh, might have been the wrong one. Yeah, I think it's looping me. Okay, so next time we'll try the left. All right, left it is. Uh, looks like that was wrong, so I guess we'll try right. Right it is. Okay, uh, left this time. This is all different, so that's good. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh. Okay. Well, it's civilization. That's good. Let's read this note before we go in. Hey, V. Glad to see you made it. Come by my, my, come by my office at the northeast of here, and I promise I'll explain everything there. Do not take the northern tunnel... The southern route is safer. Yours truly, H. Okay, so we have to go northeast. Okay. Do not take the northern tunnel on the southern route. Okay, so we gotta go northeast, but we should go south to get there. Let's see if we can get in the bar. Nope. Okay, southeast. This is... Oh, boy. The Echo Post, Shadow Creepers, debunked? Renowned zoologist Zachariah Large, in an unwavering speech he gave at a radio show yesterday, commented on the recent news stories of alleged shadow creeper sightings, even going as far as to call them nonsense. The award-winning scientist made a point to completely assure listeners that crawling creatures that morph into and out of shadows could not biologically exist, while dismissing the authenticity of video proof as possibly a prank or another marketing scheme. <laughs> well, we know he's full of it. 
right, so maybe I'll try going further south. Oh, I hate this. This is the direction that thing went. Let me see if I can save. Okay, so hitting escape twice completely kills the game. That's nice to know. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna take the northern tunnel. Why not? Danger zone. Oh. Well, let's see. Oh, it's a dead end. Okay. Let me adjust something real quick. There we go. Ah, we're in the northern tunnel, I'd say. All right, fair enough. Okay, south it is. Here we go. Dead end. There's an invisible wall here, so I can't go any farther. And that's a dead end too. Here we go. Or not. So that's the paper I read last time. I saw that shadow guy roaming around this way. Maybe I have to pick up that news article. Yeah, that's what got me in that northern tunnel. I wonder if maybe now I can go down and through. Let's try that one more time. Is this a building entrance? No? Okay. Ah, okay, I did have to... All right. Ah, I see a little shadow guy. I doubt I can go in this door. I wasn't able to go in the last one. Beast. All right. Oh, okay, we made it. These are some pretty freaky flowers. Three. Two, one. Oh, okay, I don't have a head. Great. It is a common practice in parapsychology to visualize certain thoughts and feelings as imaginary entities whose appearance and overall behavior is directly linked to how pleasant these thoughts are. A happy thought can, for instance, take the form of a playful animal, while an unhappy one may take the form of a monster. Oh, there's the therapist. Oh, great, okay. That's fine, I'll just... There we go. Does Amir have anything to say about this? Oh, I've gotta wait for the elevator. Oh, wait, 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 I can make it... I guess not. Okay, okay. I got greedy. All right, here we go again. This way? This way? Really? Okay, here we go, here we go. Come on. Oh, great. Well... I'm seeing Dad among the gibberish here. Well, I mean, it's not gibberish, but I'm, I'm seeing Dad. Hmm. 
Hello? Yeah, there's a key. Great. It's gonna be okay. Leave, get out, stop. He's coming. Well, great. Did I have the gun? Name, Vincent Whiteford. Age 38, occupation, mathematician. Nurse, driving under influence. It says here he crashed into a tree. <laughs> that was an interesting looking tree. Nurse, got away with only a light head injury and a few scratches though. Doctor, Jesus Vincent, how much lower can you fall? Nurse, you know him, doctor? Doctor, yeah, I've seen him come here multiple times for therapy. Poor man lost his mind after his son went missing. He's been struggling to keep his life together ever since. What should we do, doctor? Let him rest for now. I'll check up on him tomorrow. I knew it, yeah. So it's our son. All right, and that is it. We made it. All right, so that was Johnny is Missing. It's a short, surreal experience, just what it said on the tin. And I'll go ahead and leave the link to the game in the description down below. Hopefully, uh, there wasn't any background noise due to me recording in the daytime. If you notice anything, let me know. I mean, I'll probably come across it when I edit, but, uh, hey, hopefully this worked out. Uh, it should be nice being able to record during the daytime because sometimes, you know, you just put it off so long. It's like, at this point, I'm too tired to record. I'll do it tomorrow. And, you know, it's, it's easy to get, uh, overwhelmed by things by putting them off. Okay. Well, hey. In that case, I do want to thank you for stopping by in this episode, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.